Today on our 2014 Chevrolet Sonic, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Roadmaster 12 volt outlet kit rated at 20 amps, part number RM-9332. Here's what this 12 volt outlet is going to look like once it's installed in the vehicle. As you can see, it comes down from inside this fuse panel and that makes it nice because it's very easy to tuck away so that it can't be seen and isn't always visible because then you can bundle it up and you can use a zip tie or rubber band if you'd like. You bundle it up and you can just tuck it away when not in use. And that way your vehicle maintains a very clean look. In this vehicle, since it's gonna be having a portable braking system, it's right there and easy to access whenever you need it. Now this is also very useful if you just want an extra 12 volt outlet in the vehicle for charging a phone or something like that. Even when flat towing, if you have to kill power to the vehicle by taking out a fuse, you'll still have power to this because it's connected directly to the battery. Now, let's show you how to install this. In order to route the wiring from inside the vehicle to the battery, we're gonna go through this large grommet in the firewall right here. I took a utility knife and cut a small X into the rubber grommet. Now as you can see, we've got the wire routed through that hole that I cut in that grommet. Now, I'm getting ready to install these onto my battery terminals. And the one that has the spade terminal with the inline fuse holder, that's gonna go to our positive. And the other one that has the ring terminal on it is gonna go to our negative. But because of the connection points for each of those, we're gonna need to get some different ring terminals in order to install them. The larger yellow one will be going to the positive, and if you'd like to get one of those on our site, you can get that part number DW05705-1. Then that blue one, which is a little bit bigger than the one that's on it now, for the ground terminal, part number DW05702-1, if you'd like to get one of those as well. Take the spade connector, and I'll cut it off the end there, and I'll strip that wire back and install the yellow ring terminal. And then for the ground, I'll cut the smaller blue ring terminal off in order to install a little bit larger one. Now on both of these, I'm gonna put a little bit of electrical tape around those just to help keep any moisture out so that it doesn't possibly corrode the connection inside there. Now I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket in order to remove our negative battery cable. Then I can come back here to our positive and I'll attach that yellow ring terminal that I installed right underneath that nut. So I'll use a 12 millimeter socket to take that off. Take my ring terminal, slide it around there and into place. Then I can replace that nut. Now I'll, I'll close the lid back down over my positive terminal. And you may need to trim a little bit right around there, which I went ahead and did. Now I'll reinstall my negative battery cable tighten that down, and then I'll use that same 10 millimeter socket to remove that bolt. Then I'll take my other ring terminal for the negative side of my power outlet, put it right on there, and reinstall that bolt. I went ahead and routed the socket through the back of the dash so it came out from inside this fuse panel cover right here. Now we're ready to check to make sure that everything's working properly with this 12 volt outlet. So we're gonna use our portable braking system, which is the main reason that we installed this. And we'll plug it in to make sure we've got power. So we can see the red LED light that's on the plug has come on. So that means we've got power coming through this outlet. That's gonna complete our look at and installation of the Roadmaster 12 volt outlet kit rated at 20 amps part number RM-9332 
on our 2014 Chevrolet. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.